Hello friends, welcome to this third lecture on major theory. In the last lecture we have seen that uh, this is uh, John and he wants to learn about how to measure the things and this is Henry, Libig Henry and Henry has told him that he can teach John what is called M. M is Libig major. Okay, but before that he has to learn about M star and what are Libig measurable sets. These are the two things which John has to learn before learning this Libig major and we have given the definition of M star already. In the few videos, next few videos, we will look at the properties of M star and then we will move here and then here. This is how we will proceed. Okay, so in the present video, we will look at some nice properties of M star. Okay, so let us do that. So, uh, this John is coming with this Henry to learn some properties of M star. So, first property is that M star of empty set is five, 0. Okay, M star of an empty set is 0. This is very simple and it is easy to guess that this property is true. What is the definition of M star? For any subset A of R, we have defined M star A as infimum of summation of lengths of the intervals, clo uh, closed, uh, open and bounded intervals, which cover A. So I told you that what you do, you do take, an, take any set, which is a subset of R, and then find all the possible op covers, which are of the intervals, uh, and those intervals are open and bounded. So look for those covers. So basically, if you have A is in the union of IK1, and A is in the union of IK2, k2 and so on find all such possible covers and then find the sum of the lengths of these intervals involved in these covers and then find you will get the numbers and then fi find the infimum of those numbers that will give you a measurement of what is contained in a and that is called outer measure of a right so the property we have we want to prove that uh, that uh, outer measure of M star uh, phi is zero. This M star is nothing but outer major, outer Lebesgue major, outer Lebesgue major. So basically, we want to prove that outer Lebesgue major of empty set is zero. So you know that I can always every uh, interval of the form a comma a. This is an interval which is actually empty. Okay, this is a cover for phi. Okay. Now every open and bounded interval is a cover for phi. In fact, you can take any open and bounded interval, right? I can take an interval of the form given any epsilon greater than zero. I can find epsilon by two, epsilon by two, and clearly phi is a subset of this because phi is a subset of every possible subset of R, and in particular phi is a subset of interval which is open and bounded, and it implies. Now it means that this is one of the cover. This will come in come in this category we, we have collected here all the covers so this single interval will be in this uh, uh, category and therefore by definition m star of phi which is infimum of all such covers will be either equal to the sum of the lengths of the interval involved here and here is only one interval or less than okay of the sum of the length interval of the intervals involved here and here is only one interval and what is the length length is epsilon by 2 write it minus okay minus minus epsilon by 2 so it is your epsilon so it means that you have proved that given any positive epsilon however small you have proved that m star of phi is less than epsilon less than equal to epsilon so it also by definition m star of phi cannot be negative you can see that this is the sum of the lengths of the interval and lengths are always positive therefore we have m star of phi is greater than equal to 0 so we you have something like this there is a number, this number which we want to prove equal to 0. This is less than or equal to every positive number. So this number will be either 0 or negative. But this thing says that it cannot be negative. So this number has to be 0. So this thing you have to keep in mind whenever you prove that a number is less than or equal to every positive number, if, however small, then it means that that number is either 0 or negative. Okay. Now you have put a restriction on M star that it cannot be negative by definition it is not negative therefore m star of phi has to be 0 so this is the first nice property of m star that m star of phi is 0 which we expect because there is nothing in the empty set therefore the, uh, how if somebody asks that how much is present what is the quantity present in a, a phi set then it should be 0 okay so this is the property which we expected okay 
okay now let us come to the next property the second property is that also we want that if whenever a is a subset of b then the quantity in a should be less than the quantity in b okay then we expect if you have a small polythene a small bag and if you have a bigger bag and both are full okay then obviously you expect that the quantity okay not the cost the quantity contained in this bag is less than is equal to the quantity contained in this bag so similar thing we expect from here right so we have this we have this uh, property that whenever a is a subset of b then m star of a is less than is equal to m star of b this is called the monotone property of m star okay so let us prove this okay so pictorial what is, a, a picture is this that whenever a is contained in b then m star of a is less than is equal to m star of b okay let us prove it this is very simple to prove you can see that whenever you you find a cover of b okay so suppose i i is a cover of b where these i i are open bounded intervals okay so whenever you have a cover of b so you have something like this that b is contained in the union of i i's now because a is a subset of b okay so if b is contained in something then obviously a is contained in that thing so it implies that a is contained in that okay union of i i's it means that whenever you have a cover for b that is also a cover of a okay so every cover of b is a cover of a right so you have this thing every cover of b is a cover of a right it means but every cover of a is not a cover of b okay every cover of b is a cover of a but every cover of b is not a cover uh, sorry every cover of b is a cover of a but every cover of a is not a cover of b therefore if you collect this is the these are all the covers of b and these are all the covers of a then this will be a bigger set than this so you have something like this if a is a subset of b then you have something like this these are covers of b these are covers of a this is a simple thing when you have b is larger therefore there will be less candidates who will cover it and a is smaller there will be more candidates who will cover it okay so it is like this same thing like if a is smaller means this is a easy exam and b is bigger means it is a tough exam so there will be more candidates who will qualify this easy exam then the uh, candidates number of the candidates who will qual qualify this tough exam okay so you have this that the covers of b is a subset of covers of a right so this is the thing we have that set of covers of a contains the set of covers of b right so we have this thing now if i, I find the infimum of these numbers okay then obviously that infimum will be greater than equal to if i include these numbers too okay for example if i have this 1 2 3 what is the infimum 1 and if i include more numbers 1 2 3 minus 1 3 then infimum is minus 1 so if this is a set i am i am keeping those element as such and i am including some more elements then there are chances that infimum will be less okay because there can be elements which we have added extra okay which are lesser than the infimum of what we have computed from here right so if you make your set bigger then infimum will be decreasing okay so whenever a is a subset of b infimum of a okay is greater than equal to infimum of b this is the thing you can note it right this is easy to like visualize so therefore we have this thing here set of covers of a is a uh, contain it, it, it is containing the set of covers of b it means that infimum if the set, set of covers of a is containing the set of covers of b then it means that this sum of lengths of the intervals of those covers the set i am collecting all such sums is a set containing these sums 
where j i s are the cover of b and i i r is the cover of a so this set is bigger than this set it means that the infimum of this set will be smaller than the infimum of this set so we have m star of a which is nothing but infimum of this set okay and m star of b is nothing but infimum of this set so we have m star of a is less than is equal to m star of b right so this is how you prove that that m star is monotone and this is also we, what we expected that whenever a is a subset of b then we should have m star of a is less than is equal to m star of b right so this is the property which we call as monotone property of outer major okay so now let's let's go to the next property <clears throat> <clears throat> so john uh, uh, john went to the market and he looked at set of rationals and irrationals and he did not know how to measure those sets okay so we we are going in that direction but before that we will prove that a countable set has an outer major zero okay now john is again sad because he does not know what is a countable set okay but henry is there to help him he said okay don't worry i'll tell you what is a countable set he says that a countable set is a set whose elements you can count simple okay a countable set by definition by literal meaning of countable set it it is a set whose elements you can count so henry says that either your set is finite if it is a finite set for example if you have a set 1 2 3 4 you can always count okay if your set contains 100 elements you can count if your set contains 1 lakh elements then you can count so whenever a set is finite it is countable of course but what happens when set is uncountable for example set of integers minus 1 0 1 2 3 okay and minus 2 and so on this is an uncountable uh, this is an infinite set okay so whether this set is countable when whether we can count the elements of this set or not right so for that we have something like this we we say that set of natural numbers is countable okay because natural numbers are counting numbers okay so we start with 1 right 2 3 you can always keep on counting those numbers there will be never an end right so we assume that this is a this is the most uh, countable set okay you can assume like this so whenever a set is such that there is a 1 1 and on to map 1 1 and on to map between that set and set of natural numbers okay you have a set and if there is a 1 1 and on to map between that set and set of natural numbers then you say that your set a is countable okay if it is an infinite set if this is a finite set then of course this is countable okay so you can prove that set of rationals is countable you can prove that set of integers is countable okay so that is a different thing uh, thing that is not a part of our course but before learning major theory you should know all these things because this is simple real analysis right so okay uh, don't worry about that so suppose we have a countable set it means that the elements of that set you can count so whenever you have a countable set b right whenever you have a countable set b you can count its element its elements so you can enumerate its element enumerate its elements so you can write it as b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 and so on okay so whenever you have a countable set you can assume that this set is of the form b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 and so on right so let us prove that the outer major of a uh, countable set is zero <coughs> so i'm starting with a countable set i have a countable set c okay let me change the color i have a countable set c now i told you whenever you have a countable set you can write it as c as c1 c2 c3 and so on so I, this c is nothing but ck k from 1 to infinity right now i want to prove that this m star of this thing is zero right now whenever you have to prove uh, something about m star then you look for the covers of that set covers of open and bounded intervals of that set so i will i have something like this uh, this c1 is here c2 is here c3 is here c4 is here maybe c5 is here we don't know right it is not that they are in the decreasing order but for the simplicity i'll write it like this okay c6 and so on i have something like this and i am looking for cover of this set right So obviously you can say that you take the small intervals around these numbers, what? Okay, c one, c two, c c three, c four, c five. 
okay and take all those intervals that will form one of the cover and you have to collect all such covers but it is, it is not possible to collect all such covers so what we do we take like this take any and also we uh, in the last uh, we have proved that m star of phi is zero for that proving that what we prove that m star of phi is less than every positive number so it is a general trick to prove that anything is zero for example here we want to prove that m star of uh, countable set is zero okay so to prove anything is zero we pro you prove that this number is less than is equal to every positive number right and uh, 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 and this is already greater than or equal to zero so it means that this is zero so to prove that something is zero when it is a non negative thing right you already have that m star of c is greater than or equal to zero right so and you want to prove that m star of c is zero then you prove that this m star of c is less than is equal to every positive number right that is a general trick so here what we do we start with any positive number however small we start with an epsilon greater than zero and what i am doing i am taking an interval around c1 of the length epsilon by 2 okay you have fixed an epsilon and then around C1 take an interval of the length epsilon by 2. How can you take that interval? You take this interval as epsilon minus uh, CK minus epsilon by 2 square comma CK plus epsilon by 2 square. Now you can see that length of this interval is this minus this CK and CK will cancel. You will have epsilon by 2 square plus epsilon by 2 square and that is epsilon by 2. So around C1 you take an interval of the length epsilon by 2 okay and that interval is this interval is open and bounded right and similarly go to c2 and around c2 take an interval of the length epsilon by 2 square how you can take that you take here it was c1 and around c2 you take as epsilon, c2 minus epsilon by 2 cube c2 plus epsilon by 2 cube okay now this is an open and bounded interval and what is the length of this interval? This is C2 plus epsilon by 2 cube minus C2 plus epsilon by 2 cube. C2, C2 will cancel and you will have epsilon by 2 cube plus epsilon by 2 cube. So you have epsilon by 2 square, right? And similarly, around CK, you can have an interval of this form, right? So you have these intervals and these intervals are open and bounded, okay? And obviously, these intervals forms a cover of your set. Because your set contains elements C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. I1 covers this. I2 contains this. I3 contains this. I4 contains this and so on. So on. Okay. So it means that this set, this uh, collection of intervals forms a cover for your set. Right. So you have found only one of the cover. And therefore this is one of the covers of C. Right. And by definition... This is M star. Infimum of over the sum of the lengths of all such covers. So it, this infimum is obviously less than is equal to the sum of lengths of this cover. Because this is one of the cover. Right? So we have that infimum of sum of the lengths of the intervals where these intervals cover your set C is less than is equal to sum of the lengths of the one of the cover. So this is less than is equal to this is summation k from 1 to infinity L of i k. And what is the length of i k? This is your ik. You can see that the length is this minus this. You will subtract this, this quantity left hand point from right hand point. So ck and ck will cancel. You have, you will have epsilon upon 2 k, k plus 1 plus epsilon upon 2 raised to power k plus 1. This will give you epsilon upon 2 raised to power k. Right? So this thing is that thing but epsilon upon 2 raised to power k. Now this sum is epsilon half plus 1 by square, 2 square and so on. This is a gp. This is the geometric progression with common ratio half. So this is, that is less than 1. So this is uh, a convergent se series and you can find the sum. Sum is A upon A is the first term upon 1 minus R. R is common ratio. So this is epsilon into half upon half. So this is epsilon. Okay. Now by definition this is M star of C. So you prove that M star of C is less than is equal to epsilon. Okay. So what you proved, you proved that give me any epsilon greater than 0, okay, I can prove that m star of c is less than is equal to epsilon. It means that m star of c is less than every positive number, less than equal to every positive number, however small, okay. And already by definition m star of c is greater than or equal to 0. This thing will tell you that m star of c is either 0 or negative. 
but because m star of c is not negative therefore m star of c is zero so this is how you prove that a countable set has outer major zero okay in the next uh, video we will look at another properties of some more properties of m star thank you